Hello everyone, LaTanya Davis here to talk to you about something that's been heavy on my heart this week. But before I begin, please remember to subscribe, to like, comment, or share my videos in my YouTube channel. Okay, so last week I saw an article um, about some students at my alma mater that decided to go online and post something um, using blackface and also captioning a racial slur. Unfortunately, it doesn't surprise me that that happened, um, which is sad in itself. However, for someone to believe that they can do something like that and not consider the consequences of their actions, whether it's today or 10 and 20 years from now, it's really sad. Apparently, there's a huge debate on the consequences that these students should have. Um, I'm glad I'm not in charge of that. Um, and however, I wanna use this as a learning opportunity. I mean, I'm a teacher, of course, I'm gonna use this as a learning opportunity. Um, I would wanna know why it was done and it was obviously learned somewhere. Of course, seeing this from my former school, it hurt, well, it hurt anyway, no matter where it's from, but seeing it from my uh, former school, it definitely hurt. And, uh, but what I really think about and imagine is the hurt that it uh, gave the students to actually go there and actually know these students. Uh, I saw um, a news clip on one of the students and the things that they talked about and how it made them feel. And also how when they you know, talk to teachers about it, they would hear um, you know, questions from the teacher asking if it was meant to be a joke or what context it was in. It doesn't matter. Um, and I know a lot of the teachers at Eureka High School and they're the ones I know are fantastic. And uh, however, context, joking, it doesn't matter. Racism is racism and it's not okay. Um, if we don't look up ourselves to find out why this was, or if we don't know why this was offensive, we need to definitely do some research. Um, and if not, we haven't done our jobs. Um, as teachers, it is our job. I mean, we, it's more than just to teach, you know, it's our job to create good citizens that are respectful and kind to one another as well. It's that uh, unwritten rule of being a teacher. And it's really important that we keep that in mind while we are teaching. Unfortunately, racism is something that we have to deal with, the side of teaching our own lessons that we have to prepare for. Um, you know, I, you know, myself dealing with things like that, I, I mean, I was the only teacher in my district, only African-American teacher in my district for 13, the 13 years I was there. So I saw how students could feel in situations like that. And, you know, it's our duty to help them see things with different perspectives. And if we can't do that, then we have not done our jobs as teachers, but it starts at the home. It starts at the home. First and foremost, the parents are the first teachers. So I read on one of the comments when looking at that article, someone said, I know how to solve it. Let's just stop having students from the city get bussed out in the county. Well, that's a very naive thing to say and it just made absolutely no sense. That's a great way to avoid situations uh, which is unfortunately why racism is here now because of avoidance and um, you know that solution is just not the way to go. Um, avoidance does not help racism. Um, so that's definitely not a way to fix it. As Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. would have said today, you know, we need to love and respect and be kind to one another. And even if they don't look like us, um, it is 
important that we are kind and respect them anyway. Even if they don't agree with opinions that we may have, it doesn't matter. I mean, we are to be kind to one another. I mean, that's the way the world should work. Um, and, you know, as we try to remember him today, I just encourage us to be more like him and to, you know, love and care and respect one another. It is so important. I went to a um, Martin Luther King Jr. brunch today at my school and it was fantastic. And there were so many amazing people giving great speeches and talking about the importance of diversity and inclusion in all universities. And it was, it was inspirational. And that's what we need to keep in mind in this world today, that we need to be inclusive and to accept everyone. Um, so keep that in mind this week. And I, I hope that you guys have a great end of your month. And like, share, and subscribe. And you guys have a great day. Thanks.